All right, so we have patch notes 4.1. The first thing coming up on the patch notes is a realistic battle mode. Basically, you do not have a heads up display. And yeah, I'm not gonna go too into that. I have a lot more questions and answers, but yeah, realistic battles. And then also we have the UK cruiser split. So these are gonna be the heavy cruisers. Uh, I'm assuming they play like the Cheshire, which is I think is a good thing. It's a very utility ship with its sonar, air defense alert, I think, you know, they're going to be fun. They'll be fun. All right, moving on. I'm going to go into the balance changes because all the rest of the stuff I'm really not that interested in. So the first thing up is we have the Russian destroyer, the tier 8, Tashkent. Rudder shift time is reduced from 5.4 to 4.5. Now you're going to be able to knife fight that much better. Dodge incoming shells. It, I think the ship's going to play a lot better now. The tier 8 UK destroyer, Lightning. Instead of having Fuel Smoke 2, you're now getting a Fuel Smoke 1. Also, all of the UK destroyers, well, from Lightning it up, are getting nerfs. Like, pretty heavy nerfs at Jutland and Daring. So, just be prepared for that. For Tier 9 destroyers, Kitakaze receives a 400 health increase. Jutland fans, and this is where I'm currently at in the line, so I'm a little sad about all these nerfs coming, but main gun HE damage is decreased from 300 to 260 and then the AP shell damage is decreased from 330 to 280 but not only that the main gun range goes from 8.4 kilometers to 7.8 and then it gets fuel smoke one so very very heavy set of nerfs kind of unfortunate I've been really enjoying these ships but yeah all right moving on to tier 10 the Japanese gunboat Hargumo and the Kaiboros, the Russian destroyer, they get a health increase of 400. Meanwhile, the Daring gets its health decreased by 400. Its HE damage from, goes from 300 to 260. AP damage goes from 330 to 280. And its main battery firing range goes from 8.4 to 7.8 kilometers. But not only that, it also gets Fuel Smoke 1 instead of Fuel Smoke 2, which it had. I think there's been way too many nerfs at once, all at once. All right, I, I think the proper way to do it, nerf a couple things here, see how that plays out. If it needs more nerfs, then bring more nerfs, but don't just hammer it right off the bat. You know, that, I think that's the bad way of doing business here. Going on to cruisers, there's only one, I guess you could say, line not really lined it's starting from tier 8 up so the UK cruiser line gets additional AP shell penetration power by 7% so that's the Edinburgh on up and that includes the black Edinburgh as well what essentially that means is you're gonna be able to hit battleships in the nose and actually get those full pens you see those 500s and not just semi pens or bounces so that's always a good thing I know that's one of the things they struggle on is just actually penning their targets so this, I, I, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Moving on to battleship changes. We have the premium tier 7 Duke of York. Main battery reload is reduced by 1 second. So you, it's at 19 seconds now. And then it gets an extra charge of smoke 1. Both the Sharn Horse and the Geniza now are going to be faster to full speed. So they're about 6 seconds faster to reach full speed. What that means is you'll be able to get in position a lot faster than you normally would. And, you know, position's key in this game. Next up is the Russian battleships. Alright, so these, a majority of them, are receiving a nerf. And I'll, I'm going to say it's a heavy nerf at that. But, first up is Tier 5 battleship Peter Veliki. the only one not to receive the nerf. But it gets an increase to its AP damage by a whole 20. So 20 extra damage. The tier 6 Ismail gets an increase by that 20, just like the Peter Veliki. But the main gun reload goes from 23 seconds to 25 seconds, and the health is reduced by 900. The tier 7 Russian battleship, the Sunup, main gun reload goes from 23 seconds to 25 seconds flat as well. And then has the main gun firing range reduced from 12.3 kilometers to 11.7 tier 8 russian battleship vladivostok main gun reload from 23.5 seconds to 25 seconds and the main gun firing range 
is from 12.6 to 12 kilometers flat. Tier 9 Russian battleship Sovetsky Soyuz gets its damage increased by 30, the 25 second reload treatment, and also main gun firing range goes from 12.9 to 12.6. Last but not least is the Kremlin, Tier 10 Russian battleship. Gets the 25 second treatment, and also main gun firing range goes from 13.2 down to 12.9 kilometers. Honestly, um, these Russian battleship changes, I think the 25 seconds is a bit much. It, it's kind of bullshit, if you ask me, because you got to think about it. Seven minute matches, you don't really get in a position to shoot till like what, the six, six minute mark? And doing the math, 25 seconds, that's about what, 14 salvos? And then that's if all your rounds hit, so like you're. You're just nerfing the damage a little too much. It's not worth it, in my opinion. And honestly, what I think might be happening is they're nerfing it to buff later and, you know, use that as an excuse for like, oh, they needed buffs. Because I honestly do believe in Russian bias if you look at all the Russian ships we have in the game now. Ship skill balance. So Radar 2 now gets a little more range from 7.8 kilometers to 8.1. That's a good change. I like it. You know, I think the radar lasts a little too, it's a little too short in my opinion. So giving it more range, that just makes it better. And the next change is general balance on AP shell penetration decay. So basically your shells losing penetration power the farther they have to go. So 101 millimeter to 120 millimeter lose it 7% faster. And then 121 to 127 millimeter lose it 4% faster. Those calibers are mostly found on destroyer guns or destroyers, but again, that's an additional nerf to like the UK line because I I know I use AP all the time to fight other destroyers at range and things like that. For cruisers, though, your 200 millimeters to 283 lose penetration power 4% slower than before while traveling, so it's going to be more effective. Um, yeah. I'm not really a fan of the destroyer gun changes here, like the, the calibers that they're they're choosing here. Uh, this just means that destroyers are going to be firing HE a lot more. That's all it really means. But that's going to go ahead and do it for the patch notes themselves. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think about certain changes maybe the ap changes maybe just the destroyer changes the russian battleship changes i didn't see that one coming though but again there's some stuff i skipped over i didn't feel like they were important go ahead and check out the elite ship database Hiromi posted basically the the patch notes so that everybody could see so if you guys want to take a look at some of the things i didn't mention go ahead and check that out but yeah until next time